when we think of ecology, we tend to associate it with the preservation of nature. However, is it a possible goal for humanity to preserve nature? Well, actually, it is an illusion that we are able or will ever be able to preserve nature. And where does this illusion come from? This illusion comes from a very common experience we all share when living in big cities, which is going to public parks. We might go to public parks once a week, once a month, once a year, but certainly all of us who live in big cities have been to parks. And what happens in parks that create the illusion that we might be able to preserve nature. The first park to create this sort of illusion was the Hyde Park in London. Because the Hyde Park was the first park to suppress the distinction between the space inside of it and the space around it. And as we can see in this drawing from 1733, there are two different areas in the Hyde Park. One, which is filled with straight lines, represents the divisions between the spaces within and without the garden. And the other half represents a total continuous space which creates an environment that imitates nature. The Hyde Park was made to resemble a section of the River Thames which crosses the city of London. And it creates a sort of river inside the park and from within the park we have the illusion that London itself is part of the park, continues the park. And the Hyde Park established an international model that was adapted in other cities all around the world since the 19th century, creating this illusion that the space around these gardens are, are a continuous uh, space with the garden itself, which can experience in cities such as Sao Paulo, when we go to the Parque do Ibirapuera, and we have this illusion that the city itself goes from the park, starts inside the park. Well, a park is a garden, and as a garden, it keeps a constant shape inside of it. And in this sense, parks and garden are totally different from nature. Nature never has a stable form. Nature is always catastrophic. And nature keeps changing all the time. When we think of ecology, we might have to think about going against nature. We are not thinking of preserving catastrophes, epidemics situations that destroy the human life. Ecology, therefore, is not about preserving nature. Ecology is about preserving the conditions for human life. If we have to face the real ecological crisis we're living in, we have to redefine our concept of nature, and we have to establish a distinct, a distinct separation between gardens and nature because if we are to face the real nature we have to understand what we are looking for and what we are looking for when we talk about ecology is the preservation of the human species thank you